WrestleMania 27 is in the books from the Georgia Dome in Atlanta, Georgia. The Rock made his return, said he would get some payback against John Cena, and he did just that. Brian Fritz from Between the Ropes joined alongside by Kevin Eck of the Ring Post Blog from the Baltimore Sun. So first off, Kevin, let's talk about the entire show, WrestleMania 27. Uh, your overall impressions of the event. I thought it was a good show. I mean, from start to finish, I don't think there were any bad matches. Uh, there were some really quick matches. Uh, the core uh, in the uh, in the eight man tag match. I don't know why they even uh, bother coming yep. for that one. Uh, that, I'd say that was a disappointment. But other than that, I mean, even the uh, six person tag match with uh, Snooki. I think that went about three minutes twenty seconds. But you know, Snooki hit her little spot, and uh, the crowd popped for it, even though they booed her mm -hmm. uh, lustily on the way out. So I mean, I thought from start to finish it was pretty entertaining. Yeah, I'd have to agree. And the one thing that I kind of saw from the show is, you know, I I don't know how well the the audience really comes across you know you're you're in the Georgia Dome it's a very big place I don't know how well the crowd comes across I thought the crowd was pretty active and overall a very good show um, let's talk a little bit about the main event okay. uh, we saw the rock obviously make his return he was actually on the show earlier as the uh, guest host mm -hmm. but he made a profound effect on the uh, main event when he came out actually restarted the main event when we saw uh, a count out to between John Cena and The Miz and then we saw Rock come in hits the rock bottom on John Cena after he restarts the match and The Miz gets the one two three yeah I mean I think the real question was all along we all knew The Rock was going to get involved but what in what to what extent and in what way was it going to be during the match after the match I think you and I had talked during the match it was probably going to be a ref bump somewhere yeah. so that was no surprise but the way they did it I, I you know it was maybe slightly flat Sure. Uh, but you know, hey, it's the Miz came out of the out of the match with the title, which I don't know that a lot of people really thought that was going to happen. So I like that. Um, and you know, the way it was done, I think at this point, anything The Rock does to Cena, he's not going to get booed for it just because of the crowd reaction to Cena. But just in case we didn't know that The Rock's still a babyface, he laid out The Miz, gave him the people's elbow after the match. So obviously now we're building to that inevitable. Rock Cena match somewhere down the line. Yeah, we just have to find out when exactly that's going to be. And when it when it comes to the match tonight, I think the biggest thing against it maybe was just the time restraints. I think at that point they were run a little bit uh, short on time. It was a little bit of a flat finish, but uh, not the end of the world. I didn't think at least. But uh, I think the entire show was stolen though by the Undertaker once again. Not against Shawn Michaels this year, but this time against Triple H. As the two of them really uh, had an outstanding match. No doubt about it. And you know you talk about those two guys they're they're icons they're legends all those words you want to use but the undertaker for years had bad matches at wrestlemania yeah. they always put him in, put him in with these big lumbering guys like giant gonzalez and i think king kong bundy one year and mm -hmm. you know one year he was in with uh, it was a handicap match with big show and i don't remember who the other guy was and it was it nathan jones or uh, uh, i can't exactly remember neither one of us can remember it, it was so <laughs> memorable none of yeah. us can remember and triple h of course has never really had that He's had some good matches, but never that one real WrestleMania moment. Mm -hmm. uh, but tonight, no doubt about it, these two veterans, both on the other side of 40, uh, both banged up, some ring rust issues, but no doubt they stole the show. Yeah, now Undertaker, the streak stays alive at WrestleMania. 19-0, who will he face next year to try to go 20-0? That's going to be the big question. Some people are thinking maybe they go rematch again against uh, Triple H, maybe John Cena, because the two of them have never faced off at WrestleMania. Um, outside of that, I really thought that there were some other strong matches on the show, um, and I think one of the surprises, too, was the opener, as we saw Edge uh, face Alberto Del Rio for the World Heavyweight Championship championship to open the event and on top of that edge actually retaining and keeping his title yeah I think that was a surprise on several fronts like you yeah. said I think most people thought this was Del Rio's night to be crowned champion I think a lot of us myself included thought that Christian was going to factor more into this match possibly do a heel turn uh, on edge that didn't happen it was pretty straightforward uh, you know Christian stayed on edges side edge got the one two three in the middle of the ring uh, trashed Del Rio's car after the match so you really have to wonder where do they go from here with Alberto Del Rio and what's going to happen with Christian. I mean, he wasn't brought into this storyline for no reason. So maybe we'll still get that edge Christian feud somewhere down the line. But yeah, that was a real shocker just as far as uh, what didn't happen. 
Yeah, I think everybody was a little bit surprised by that. Most people had Del Rio winning, and on top of that, I think the uh, the crying shame of uh, ruining a beautiful Rolls Royce uh, after the fact. So um, other matches on the show, we saw CM Punk take on Randy Orton. Uh, Randy Orton actually coming out of this one victorious, and uh, that I thought too um, was a heck of a match between the two of them. And you know, playing into uh, Orton uh, with his uh, knee supposedly bad in the finish, with uh, CM Punk coming off the top rope, getting caught by an RKO, and uh, going down for the one two three those mid-air RKOs always get a huge pop and and the, you know it takes such perfect timing but Orton almost always pulls it off but you're right a very well worked match I mean both these guys know about psychology and, and all those things um, there's a little bit of a style clash maybe I think punk has a style clash with most with most guys mm -hmm. uh, but yeah very entertaining match uh, I'm not really surprised that Orton won um, but you know, we'll see where we again. Where does Punk go from here? We'll have to see. Is this the is this a blow off to yeah. this program? Do they go in different directions? I will see. Yeah, and then I thought uh, Cody Rhodes really stepped up to the plate. Big opportunity for him at WrestleMania as uh, he took on Rey Mysterio. And uh, people were wondering how good that match could be. And I, and I thought they did a, a tremendous job. And Rey Mysterio a while back said he wanted to face Cody. He wanted to give him this opportunity at WrestleMania, see what he had. And uh, I think the two of them did uh, very well once they got out there in the ring. Again, no doubt. Um, as you said, Cody was handpicked by Rey Mysterio for this match. Um, I had a, a strong feeling that he would put Cody over, which he did. And I think Cody really delivered on the grand stage. This was his opportunity. He made the most of it. And he is certainly a guy who was on the rise. I also liked he came out to some darker uh, entrance music. Yeah. He came out with a black coat and a hood uh, covering his face. I really like what they've done, how they've transitioned from dashing Cody Rose into this guy who's now disfigured and, and a little bit, you know, uh, off kilter. Mm -hmm. um, so I really like what they've done with him. And just, I can't help but think of poor Ted DiBiase Jr. Yeah. A year ago, it was, uh, it was DiBiase and Rhodes against Randy Orton at WrestleMania in a handicap match. And everyone, myself included, predicting that DiBiase's headed for superstardom, mm -hmm. and Cody Rhodes probably going to be stuck in the mid-card. Right. And look where we are. Yeah, the other match I wanted to talk about real quickly, uh, we saw Jerry the King Lawler finally get his first match at WrestleMania, taking a Michael Cole. We saw Jack Swagger in the uh, corner for Cole, and on top of that, uh, special referee, Stone Cold Steve Austin, a night of stunners as we expected, and uh, a little bit of a surprise to the end of it because uh, we saw Jerry Lawler actually get the pin, but the anonymous Raw GM decided to chime in afterwards and say, uh, no, the referee has gone past his boundaries. I'm ruling this a DQ, and the winner, Michael Cole. Well, yeah, I think that was a bit of a, you know, we didn't really see that coming, but uh, it was a good compromise because Lawler, he had to win this match. He had to get his WrestleMania moment. Cole had to get his comeuppance, but the storyline isn't necessarily over because Cole, in the end, sort of got the last laugh. You know, it, if any match was a little bit of a disappointment, uh, and I think that one maybe a little. It was such a great build-up, and I think people were really looking forward to it. And at one point, you know, the fans started the boring chant. Yeah. I, I don't. I mean, Cole's offense obviously is limited, and I think it just kind of slowed things down to a crawl, and the fans started getting antsy. Sure. Which that surprised me because there was so much heat coming into this match. Honestly, I didn't think that was too bad of a match. I, I thought they were going to give that some time. They spent a lot of time, obviously, building that up uh, on TV in the months prior. And uh, for what it was, expectations were low, but I thought it was kind of a fun match. You get Stone Cold out there. He's stonering guys. That's what we want to see in the end. But uh, at the end of the night, a uh, very successful WrestleMania, we did see the return of The Rock. And now we have to see how long does he actually stick around. We expect him also to be at Raw tomorrow night, which will also be taking place here in Atlanta. Thanks, Kevin. Uh, everybody, of course, can check out your blog, the Ring Post blog over at thebaltimoresun.com. By the way, when it comes to this WrestleMania, sets a record attendance for the uh, Georgia Dome, over 71,000 fans, plus a nice gate for WWE, $6.6 .6 million. For Between the Ropes, this is Brian Fritz.